A warm meal is a rarity for this Budapest family. Debts of some 40,000 euros mean they have had to move into a relative's apartment. But even then, they struggle to meet the rent payments. We save on food, but I still try and give children the best. We can't afford to go to movies, and we find it almost impossible to pay for class trips. The children feel that something is wrong in our lives. We save on so-called luxury items like socks, trousers and shirts. We just can't afford them anymore. Zoltan Hanko is a freelance music teacher. His wife is unemployed. Years ago, they took out a loan with an Austrian bank, not in their own currency, but in Swiss francs. The value of the Swiss franc has since risen steeply, and the family's debt has doubled as a result. My bank offered me another loan to pay off the first ones, but it's crazy because then I would just get into even more debt. Buying a house on this street was what put the family in debt. A loan in Swiss francs enabled them to get it at a reasonable price. The little rent they get from it helps pay off part of the loan. Selling the house is not an option now because of low real estate prices. In an effort to help the 800,000 people saddled with foreign currency debt out of trouble, the Hungarian government under Prime Minister Viktor Orban has implemented a new law. Under the terms of the legislation, banks are forced to settle for just a portion of what they are owed. International finance experts all repeatedly tell us that our population's foreign currency loans are one of the biggest problems in our country and that they're dangerous for our budget. We hope this law will be a solution and will liberate families from the misery of debt. The banks across the border in Austria take a different view of the situation. They have extended huge loans to Hungarian citizens and are vehemently opposed to the new law. But nobody here wants to speak on camera. After a hard day at work, financial expert Horst Lechner enjoys a coffee at the Café Landmann in Vienna. He says everybody stands to lose out as a result of the Hungarian law. It implies massive losses for Austrian banks and for the shareholders, who, based on current estimates, will have to cover a shortfall of around a billion euros. And it is a huge problem for Hungary as well, because it is expropriation. There's no legal security, and who's going to invest money within Hungary if they have to reckon with laws like that? And that is a very real problem. The new law has already put international investors off the idea of investing in Hungary. And that, in turn, has been causing the Hungarian foreign to lose value over the past few weeks. For Zoltan Hanko and his family, the situation just keeps getting worse. Under the terms of the new law, I have to pay everything back by the end of the year. That's not possible. I've now agreed with my bank that I will pay the loan back over a longer period of time. What that means is that the credit will not run for just five years, but for 20. As a result, the monthly installments will be less, but the family will have to remain cautious about their expenses for a long time to come. English.